Hello, welcome to Anson Griffin's Occasional Series in YouTube Tutorials. Uh, today, this is a continuation of the two previous uh, YouTube videos related to this and about solving first order differential equations using Euler's method and RK4. So today we're going to do an implementation in Excel which will be fairly close to the one you'll be asked to do in class. The only thing that isn't done in this uh, tutorial is the Visual Basic and uh, I'll leave that up to yourself. So this one is slightly more advanced. We have x, x prime, x dash, x dot is a function of time, x and y, and y dash is a function of time, x and y. So, so uh, we had one uh, variable the last time, now we have two variables. So we're given and given some initial conditions here not going to even bother starting to derive this you've seen this before in the previous uh, youtube video so we have these weighted tangent slopes for x and the weighted tangent slopes for y and there's how we calculate the first tangent slope this we calculate the second tangent slope from the first tangent slope etc etc except here this is slightly more complicated we have to use sorry that jumped on me sorry it's jumping on me and this one is slightly more complicated because we have to use the tangent slope that we get from g and g would be from y as we'll see in the next page so f remember is uh, the first function and <coughs> G <coughs> is the second function, sorry, a little frog in my throat. So there's G and there's how we get G and remember in G we are <coughs> we're going to refer back to F. So apologies, apologies. So we have F and G, so and G3 from we can get G2, but remember in G3 we have to refer to F2 which we got on the previous slide and G2 which we got above and G4 uh, we get from F3 which we got in the previous slide and G3 which we just got above there. So apologies for jumping so you'll see it better in the spreadsheet later on. There's our problem X prime Y prime X dot Y dot there's our initial conditions and there's our known solutions and the reason why we put in the known solutions is we want to see how our close R approximation is to the real answer. Okay. Uh, it's got from that book there okay so there is a PowerPoint slide of the answer okay so we have X actual Y actual and so we have it there and this will go on a bit so I'm just going to stop there and say so here are our four tangent planes here are our four tangent planes here for Y four tangent planes for X so there's F1 there's our first tangent plane there's our second tangent plane. So if I just leave that up there, so it's you can see, I'll go away. It's we're there. So F two, and I'm not going to call it out. The formula is given there, and I'm not going to even bother explaining the e six and the g the dollar e dollar six. You should know this by absolute. But anyway, I'm not going to explain it here. I have it on the spreadsheet later out later on in 30 seconds or so. So we'll be able to look at it in slightly more detail. But you should be able to figure it out. The only problem about this slide is you can't see the cell name. So that's why I won't delay too long. There's the F3, which we are getting just there, highlighted just where the mouse is. And there's F4, highlighted where the mouse is, and we're looking at that cell there, the, the minus 1.17. And then we get Xn plus 1. Uh, we're looking at the next value, and that's the, these weights there. I'm just going to stop that a sec. So we're getting these weighted values here. Okay, and we're going from 0 to 5 in steps of half a second. Uh, there's some error analysis, actual versus the RK4 method for X, and actual versus the RK4 method for Y, and we've got some errors there. So now let's go to my spreadsheet. So Hopefully, just make might make that a little bigger. Yeah, hopefully that's okay. So I just put in 
uh, the h that's the time slice we're going up in steps to a half and I've just written the functions there just to remind myself so zero and then you see there if I just do an f2 it's a11 plus b dollar seven so when I drag down that's going to go naught a half one and I skipped over it in the power plan site. The dollar in front of the seven will stop B seven become B eight become B nine B etc etc. There's my actual solutions. Okay. There's the runga cut it. Okay. So there's X N plus one. So xn plus 1 equals xn plus b$7. That's b$7 is there over 6 by the sum of these tangent planes. Okay, how do I get the tangent plane? Just go back up to there. First one is easy. That's simply 3x minus 2y. And if I just explain just this one slowly. So it's I don't want to be flipping too much but it's there so d11 so d11 is so c initial y by a half by b dollar 7 the slope minus 2 times remember we're referring here to the 2y that's the y element e11 that's the initial uh, y by a half by the time slice uh, by j11 and j11 is i think the uh, the first one there yeah so we get those values there and if i just did one and then likewise we have to get the four uh, tangent planes for y and we're there okay so i did it in steps of half a second which is fairly crude I then got the error, and the error is the observed minus the expected. So, so, so you can see that's D12. Oh, sorry, I should go to the first cell. That's D11 minus B11. Let's go up to there. So that's D11 minus B11. Let's go up. So D11 is the observed, and B11 is the expected. So the observed minus the expected gives me the error. Okay, and there will won't be any. I just drag that down. D11 minus B11. Drag that down. That's D12 minus B12. So I'll get an error there. That's those two lads. And then I get the percentage error which is the observed minus is the expected over the expected so it's d12 minus b12 all over b12 and I got a series of plots there and I put in a little legend and I put in a title and I labelled the x-axis and I labelled the y-axis I didn't do a graph for the y error but if you can do it for one you can do it for both uh, if, if you have loads of time and you're finished really early you could repeat the graph and you could say make h equal 0.25 or 0.1 and you should get then do the error analysis and the error should drop you see here it's well it's big enough after eight seconds it's 23.69 percent so if you i suspect i haven't done it but i expect if you did it for a quarter of a second it'd be much better okay so hope that helps a little thanks very much